AI is a short form of the word artificial intelligence, and like it sounds, intelligence is artificial, which means we make machines inanimate objects to act like humans. Uh, so this defines things like uh, self-driven cars, uh, robotic surgeon, uh, drones for precision farming and all that. With, um, a speech by the Vice Chancellor. My name is Professor Luato Temitayo Ogundipe. Honestly speaking, what I have seen today, I'm really impressed and I'm hopeful that it will become something that we will be proud of that we have in the University of Lagos. The direction we want to migrate is about innovation, technology, and innovation. Artificial intelligence is an aspect of computer science that tries to model um, machines to behave like humans. That's really artificial intelligence. So uh, cognitive behavior, things like speech, uh, things like learning, things like vision, things like movement. Uh, if we can get machines to be able to uh, simulate those things, that's the use of artificial intelligence. One of the important things that artificial intelligence will help uh, banking to do is to take better, smarter decisions, um, especially in the areas which is most relevant to a lot of people in the areas of lending. Uh, in many instances, the reasons why banks do not lend is because we cannot manage the uncertainties around lending in terms of who will pay back, um, will they pay back on schedule. If you are intelligence, uh, which is driven by the fact that we have new kind of data in the environment that we can uh, what scientists will call triangulate uh, with the data that we have in the bank. We can take smarter decisions in terms of who we, who, who we can lend to. Essentially what this all means is that uh, the, 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 we will be able to increase access to credit significantly much more than we have done. The concept around AI you know, is being very much talked about, but the, the, the crux of the, of, of, the, of the issue with AI is that at the end of the day, it helps businesses and commercial enterprises to really enhance the quality of their decisions to be able to deliver better output. And this is a model that we've seen in great countries. For example, all of the funds, they have something to find. They have the quality of our competitive cluster. They bring the investing and the industry and the strategy together. So there's a flow of knowledge in between them. And at the end of the day, the soft problem for the nation and the good ones in the country. And that's the thing we are starting today. And uh, we believe to really change the equation for education, to start education in Nigeria, and we believe that the second piece, not only investing to start from one, applying AI to solve our problems. We have quite a lot of problems that can use AI to solve. And secondly, even going deep into the core of AI and improving in the research in that AI. So that's an advantage of this hub because the university can go deep into the core research in AI. In the hub, connecting with the industry, we can now begin to apply. Let's start at without committing a beginning. And say, let us start from the schools. Let us start imbibing this knowledge, these capabilities in our students, so that when they go out there, they are able to help organizations to achieve their goals. And not just organizations, they are able to help society to achieve them. Whether it's in health sciences, whether it's in agriculture, it's very important that they continue to drive capability. And our role in doing that is to provide a platform that allows you to build and use these technologies to solve problems. And what we hope to do by creating this hub is to allow students who are passionate about research in AI to have access to, number one, the best mentorship. So we have global network of mentors all over the world who can support the student. Number two, meetups, where they can meet people like them who can guide them, support them. And then master classes. Master class means that I need support on the right tools. So we have invested in a lot of artificial intelligence tools that can help students to collect data, to analyze their data. And the last is monetization of ideas. If you have got a great idea, how do I monetize it? How do I package it? How do I make it industry ready and industry fitting? So our role is to help students to package it well, you know, make it industry relevant, test it, and make sure it's something that is sustainable in being an innovation product in the market. You know, somebody wants to work on, on agriculture, we give the student the drone, we help the student to analyze the data, we have some of the big, you know, more advanced tools that can do the analysis. And of course, a company where can, that can also provide the data is a company like FarmCloud, 
that we can talk to a company like Farm Cloud and say, oh, can you support this student? So that it's not just doing agriculture from his head. He can learn and work with Farm Cloud. And that's why we have a lot of industry people here to demonstrate that we are actually bridging the gap. So that by the time the students are coming out, two things will happen. They have, they, they, they have the capacity that, that makes them industry ready. And two, they want to set up their businesses. They're just there. The principal thing that this that's office will be doing, number one is research. Um, and that's why we've invested a lot of tools. So students, uh, and we've identified six broad areas of our research interest. Uh, AI in medicine, AI in advertising and marketing, AI in civil engineering. So essentially we're looking for students who want to explore those areas uh, and we're going to support them with mentorship, global support, industry data and of course the right operational tool that we have bought and made available inside this all. Our second is the area of learning, you know, uh, you need to come around often and often to attend classes. You know, some of those classes are, are required some world class experts who may not be able to fly to Nigeria. So we have a, a conferencing facility, so to say, that allows you to run sky-based classes where experts in, in the US, in the UK, in South Africa can call in and mentor, support students, and so on, as if they're actually there yeah, uh, and, and actually help them. Uh, and then the other thing you may have seen uh, is the, is the, is the uh, facial biometric identification yes, tool. Have. So all data here are automated, so that students collect the data and we can store the data and they can use the data for their research. So for us, it's a pleasure to, to add to this narrative and add to our quest to make Nigeria a great country.